I have a lot of questions about this story. The House Oversight Committee is now set to probe an Obama administration deal, a deal in which a Russian-backed company invested in a uranium ore firm that had mines in the U.S., effectively gaining control over 20 percent of all the uranium in the United States of America. Now, this deal, it happened back in 2010. It did require the approval of nine U.S. agencies, including Hillary Clinton's State Department. So uh, why did they allow it? I mean, uranium is a strategic asset. You know what you can do with uranium. And I wouldn't say even back in 2010, Russia was necessarily any kind of friend. So why would we allow a foreign entity like that to gain control over such a strategic asset? Mind you, it was all happening at a time when we've learned the FBI was investigating whether or not Vladimir Putin was trying to have undue influence in the atomic energy market here in the U.S. So you put that together with the Russians doing this deal, and I think it raises a lot of questions. You know who else thinks it raises a lot of questions? For Florida Congressman and House Oversight Committee member Ron DeSantis, who's spearheading this investigation. Good to see you, Congressman. Tell us what you're looking for, what you're up to, and what kind of answers you need, uh, what your questions are, and the answers that you'd like to see. Well, we've known for a long time that there were a number of payments made both personally to Bill Clinton mm -hmm. and to the Clinton Foundation from Uranium One connected individuals or entities, um, all foreign sources. We also know, as you mentioned, that this Uranium One deal had to be approved by the Committee for Foreign Investment in the United States, the members of which included then Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. What I think we can find out now is there's a confidential informant that the FBI used starting in 2009 who was basically in the thick of a major racketeering scheme with some of the Russian elements who were involved in doing this uranium scan. Uh, I believe that that individual would be able to put some meat on the bones. The problem Have is... Have you spoken to that individual? Being, I've spoken at length with the individual's attorney. I believe that there is a lot of very credible evidence here. The problem, though, mm -hmm. is that, that the individual, as uh, being a confidential informant, signed a non-disclosure agreement with the Eric Holder Justice Department. He wanted to come forward and litigate some claims in 2016, and the Lynch Justice Department threatened him with reprisal if he were to go public on any of this stuff. I am appealing so to the attorney general to mm -hmm. release him from, from the, the NDA. I also think Congress needs a, a copy of the NDA because it's, it's not, I mean, these things may be used sometime, but it's odd that it would be used in this case given all the other facts and circumstances we've so outlined. So what was the informant? So he was investigating basically the, the money trail between some Russians and U Uranium One? So the, uh, the main guy at the center of this, the Russian national, knew that they needed somebody kind of on the inside of the American political system. Mm -hmm. So the confidential informant was an American lobbyist who got recruited to do this. The lobbyist realized pretty quickly this is not on the up and up, so he immediately went to the FBI. So basically, the government was getting all this information from almost day one in 2009, 2010, and on until the conviction in 2014. Here's the problem. None of the information gleaned from the investigation in 2009 and 2010 were provided to Congress before the Uranium One deal was, was approved, and none of it was provided, we, we don't think, to any members of the CFIUS board that mm -hmm. approved it. And the question is, why was that information not produced, no. and why has that information well, it, not know, been I, produced I since then? I think it's even more simple than that. I don't even think you need the informant. It's quite obvious. You do not want a foreign player investing in uranium in the United States of America. I mean, it's not as though Russia was our best friend back then in 2010. This should have sent off alarm bills, Congressman. A, a well, it did. Or no it informant. did, Trish. In the, in the Congress, there was opposition to this. Uh, per, almost all Republicans, you know, it's interesting how the media deals with Russia now. Yeah. Republicans were opposed to it. Now, it was before I was in the Congress. But what would have strengthened the opposition 
is if they would have known that there was an ongoing FBI investigation involving bribery and racketeering. That would have blown the lid off this thing. Mm -hmm. So you're right. The deal shouldn't have gone through, even if there was no criminal activity involved. But the fact that there was, mm -hmm. had that been produced politically, it would have been very powerful. And mm -hmm. I think the deal would have been defeated. Well, the deal never should have happened in that, you know, this is a strategic asset. You don't need the Russians owning a strategic asset in the United States of America. So somebody for sure dropped the ball on this one. And we have haven't even gotten in to the conflict of interest between Mr. and Mrs. Clinton and the Russians and all the money that went to the Clinton Foundation, $146 million, it's estimated, or the $500,000 speaking fee that Bill Clinton got just weeks after this deal was approved. So there's, there's a lot of meat on the bones there, I think, and a lot of questions that should be addressed. And I'm glad to see you guys are looking into it because... Uh, you know, you, you hope for the best, but in this particular one, there just seems to be so many conflicts that if we're going to start talking about Russia and we need to investigate Russia, this is something that needs to be investigated. So, well, the strongest evidence of collusion, Trish, is between the Clintons and the Russians, not Trump and the Russians. Congressman DeSantis, thank you very much. Keep us posted. We want to know every last detail on this one. All right. Will do.